Hello, welcome back. Today we're going through more world coins kindly sent into the peer box. A massive thank you to everyone that has sent coins into the peer box. Um, it's totally taken over my world coin collection videos, which I normally used to do. Um, but I've got so many coins that have been, as I said, generously sent in. I'm slowly making my way through the backlog of coins you've sent in. First up, I'll have a look at my new Mr. front page. Now, New Mist is a website that I use to log my coin collection on. It's got so much information about UK coins, world coins, mintage figures, scarcities for those of you that have mintage figures for. Um, it's a real hive of really helpful and useful information. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm not sponsored to recommend people over there. I don't get any reward for sending people over. Um, I've just found it so helpful that um, I thought I'd just mention it again as I usually do in these videos. Uh, we, will re we will return to the screenshot at the end of the video to see how this video has affected my collection. But without further ado, let's start looking at some coins. So our first coins come from Blake. And the first one we've got is from the Netherlands. It's one golden focus is 1977 I think it was 63 they transitioned from being silver to um uh, is it cooper nickel I guess whatever metal this is but it's a lovely design I've got a fair few of the um in my date run this could be a new one ideally we're looking for new countries new years new coins new dates um maybe that's something under two million mints is kind of cool you can see this sort of like I forget what it's called is it like the Apollo and a little rooster there very cool for that coin. Uh, next up we've got Thailand. So Thailand coins are always hard to, to tell dates on because this is the date here. It begins with what looks like a W and an A or an M and an A. Obviously that's not what the symbols are, that's just what they remind me of. And then these last four will be the actual year of mintage. Uh, so I've got a date converter I, I use which is really helpful that someone uh, sent me a link to. But this looks like to be five parts. These, the Thai coins are beautiful. They've got these lovely sort of palaces and temples on them. That's very cool. It's a cool sort of shape. It's circular with this sort of border, which makes it look interesting. Very nice. We've got another Thai one. It looks like the new king. Or a younger king. No, this is the new king. Five baht again with this interesting sort of crest. And again, the year to the right here again it's a cool cool sort of is it a crown or is it a temple there it looks a bit like the crown that, that uh, the king wears at his coronation very cool though so that'd be a fairly modern one um, oops dropped it what have we got here 2016 I think this could be Croatian yes Creation 50 Leaper with this, it's got a cool sort of mottling sort of colour to it. You can see sort of purples and blues and yellows in it. That's neat. There's some sort of flora. They look like four leaf clovers or shamrocks, maybe. Not sure. So it says, I think what it says what it is around the edge there, but whether it's Croatian or Latin, either or, I can't read it. We've got 20 euro cents. Oh, what's that? A little sticker. Can't tell. I'm getting better at my euro coins. Let's see if I recognize it. Oh, this is a, this is a Spanish. Almost said Italian, it's not Spanish. From 1999, you can see that's the Royal Madrid, Royal Madrid Mint mark. That's a nice easy one to recognize. Fantastic. We then have another 20 cents from the from a European cut from somewhere in the Eurozone. Let's see if I can recognize this one. Another Spanish one. Easy peasy. 2008. But it's amazing that with the Euros, the, the variety, not just in the commemoratives, but in the definitives as well. We've got different uh, countries' definitives, all the years, all the mint marks. If they like Germany, have different mints in the country. Very cool, isn't it? It's a US P mint mark from 2004. Is it a, a dime? It is. It's a fairly modern one. It's a cool little coin. Because a dime is what, 10 cents? Or is that a nickel? Oh, I can never remember with American because I'm so bad with them. It's a quarter to 25. We've got a nickel and a dime. Hmm. I think this could be still be the 10 cents or a 5 cents. Oh, no idea. 
<laughs> having a mental block at the moment. Um, there's another modern, will be a more modern Taiwan from Thailand. Five baht. Yeah, but it's, maybe they're paint flecks. Maybe that's what they are. It's got a couple of these coins. But again, use my date converter to figure out what the actual year of mintage is for that. William Hodd sent in a whole bunch of different coins. This is 1998. It was a jersey two pence. Very cool. Again, these um, territory coins, uh, we find some in the 10p hunts and some pennies in the penny world record videos, but uh, these are really neat to find. Uh, the idea that the idea of having all these cool sort of definitive des uh, definitive designs or commemorative designs that they get that we don't on our definitives. Um, this is I can't see a year. I can see an F mint mark down the bottom, which makes me think it could be German. Uh, oh yeah, German 1900 10 Fennig. Very cool. So this is Imperial Germany, I think. Cool stuff. Um, this is gonna be a UK sixpence, maybe sixpence. 1965. My favourite predecimal uh, denomination. I'm not quite sure why. I just like the idea of it being a sixpence. With all the flowers, United Kingdom and English rose, Scottish thistle, Northern Irish shamrock, and the um, Welsh leek. Very neat design. I like it a lot. Like I said, my favourite predecimal denomination. Looks like we could have another one here. We do. 1967 this time. Ooh. We see a couple down there. Maybe we've got a little, little bit of a day run going. We'll do the next six months, second spot. 1954, we're going back a bit. Again, a lovely design, isn't it? Very, very cool stuff. Well, this is a much older one. 1932 six months different design you've got oak oak leaves and uh, acorns 1932 so that's George V wow wait I think it could be silver I think this is silver you know or 50% I can never remember when what years they changed what monarch they changed it under lovely a few more sixpences this one's from 1954 lovely Two more sixpences left. 1957. Very neat. And then the last sixpence is from 1958. Lovely stuff. A whole bunch of awesome sixpences there. A couple more coins. We've got a Guernsey. This looks to be a five pence. I don't have many commemorative five pence. Oh, any many five pence is full stop in my collection because there aren't commemoratives to find. This is from 1999. It's called a sort of sailboat. I do like boats on coins. So that's a plus as well. We wrap off with. Hmm, it's going to be a territory penny. What's well, Jersey Shield from 1971? I've seen a few of these designs. Oh, it's a half penny, half new penny. My bad, misread that. Very cool though. Lovely stuff. Coin reader has sent in a couple of two euro coins. This is gonna be a challenge. Ah, so this is the tenth anniversary of something. The eurozone tenth anniversary of the euro. This is the. I guess is Irish, air out the top there. It's got some sort of edge inscription. Two, 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 two. They're all different ways around, so. That's kind of neat, isn't it? All these stars and the number two. Oh, two for two euros, of course, duh. <laughs> That's just twigged. I'm a little bit slow on the uptake. It's definitely the, yeah, 10th anniversary of the, I'm going to guess the Eurozone. Not 100% sure though. I think that, I'm fairly sure that was issued by a couple of different countries though. If my uh, memory serves correct from watching uh, Euro, co co Euro coin roll hunting. We've got another two Euro coin here. 
Hibernia. Oh, air again. So this is Irish 2 from 19, uh, 2016. 1916 to 2016. So that's the centenary of Hibernia, which I can't remember what it is now. Is it like a festival or a event? I can't remember. I'm racking my brains now. But yeah, that's lovely. 1916. It's got the same image inscriptions. Yeah, it looks like two stars and twos. Very cool. Lovely stuff. And we wrap up with one more very, very shiny two euro coin. Ooh, well, it's Irish again. And shade sail. 1919, it says at the very top there. So it'll be 100 years of something. Don't know. My um, knowledge of Irish history isn't amazing, I must say. It's beautiful though. It's a lovely commemorative, isn't it? Lots going on in there. No idea what it is though, but uh, they are cool. We're going to wrap up with some coins from Nathaniel. Uh, this is a Greek 100 drachmas from 1992. It's a beautiful um, picture, isn't it? Very, very cool. Big old coin, too. We've then got, I think it's Chinese? Yes. One Yuan from 2003. I'm still waiting for, uh, was it last week, the Japanese coins that 10, 10 yen that kept popping up. In for one of them to turn up and go, ah, now I know where this is from. <laughs> Chinese ones aren't too hard to discern. But that's very cool. Um, we have got 500 rupiah. So is this going to be from Pakistan? Indonesia. Duh. Of course. 1992, very good vintage that is. It's got a cool sort of it. Again, it's circular with whoopsie, with a sort of scalloped border. Very cool, isn't it? With a, sort of a flower with some description on there. Lovely stuff. And 50 cents. This will be from Hong Kong. Again, it's got a sort of flower on it. Just a milled edge. 1998. Well, very cool, isn't it? Lovely stuff. So that's what I'm coming for the video then for. It's from the Philippines. It's sen, uh, sen, 10 Centimo from 2008. 1993 on this. Oh, sorry. So 1993 is the year that the uh, Central Bank of the Philippines was formed. And this year here, 2008, is the year of mintage for this coin. It's cool. So a little coppery looking coin. Very cool. Which means we wrap up from Singapore, 2016, 50 cents. It's such a cool design, these. I've seen a fair few of them, with the sort of border, making it the sort of lion's head with this sort of shipping container, or shipping vessel. It's, again, it's quite sort of um, modern looking design, which I really, really like. I think it's really neat. But no, a lovely, lovely coin. Well, um, a massive thank you to everyone that has sent these coins in. What we'll do now is have a look at my new Mr. Front page to see how this video has affected my collection. Well, there we go. There are all the coins that we had in today's uh, hunt. I get, as, as I keep saying, a massive thank you to people that do send the coins and don't feel obliged to do so. Uh, but the coins that do come into the PO box make it into one of these videos um, on a Sunday evening. Um, I'm struggling to pick a favourite, I must admit, because um, they are all lovely, lovely coins. And to be fair, when we have coins from multiple people, I don't generally pick a favourite because I think it's a bit rude. But uh, let me know down in the comments what was your favourite coin. I'm always fascinated to know what you guys are liking. Um, for those who watched this far into the video though, you might be interested to know I've got a Discord server. Here you can click the, click the link down in the description to come and join that if you're over the age of 13. Which is, that's Discord's rules, not my rules. Alternatively, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and now on TikTok, so be sure to head over there too. But as ever, all that leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye!